Okay guys, as mentioned, new video, no long time, no video. Uh, I'm gonna do a Thai green curry with chicken. And before I start, I'm just gonna give you some bonus material. Uh, my uncle's wife is coming tomorrow, so I'm gonna prepare both the Thai green curry and a dish that I, that I kind of invented myself. This is very finely sliced uh, beef, uh, mixed with uh, some tomato, tomato paste, some uh, red pepper, onion, uh, and a lot of spices. And it's like very, very juicy and wet. And it's gonna be in the oven in maybe 100 degrees for three, four hours with some aluminum foil. This, when it comes out, it's gonna be almost like a stew, almost like a curry itself. Uh, and, the, and the meat becomes very, very tender. All the vegetables almost disappears. It become, becomes like one with the sauce. Super tasty. Two the, I need to wash my hands. Kitchen is a bit dirty today. Uh, to the green curry, of course, chicken. We're gonna use onion. Uh, we're gonna use this green curry paste directly from Thailand. This is a shit. Use this one if you're gonna use a, uh, if you're gonna do a Thai curry. Uh, curry, sorry, a little bit half drunk, so I'm talking like a retard, but never mind. Uh, if you're gonna do a curry, use uh, the real shit. Uh, this one as well, the sweet and um, the Thai sweet and uh, sour sauce or sweet and hot sweet chili sauce to even up the sweetness. Uh, soya sauce for the salt and the umami. Of course, uh, broccoli because it's always tasty. And this plate here, we have some shredded lime. Uh, make sure not to shred the lime too much because if you get too much of this white stuff, it tends to be very bitter and most people don't like when the food becomes too bitter. This one here is, uh, let's see which is which. This is garlic. This is basically one whole garlic shredded and this is ginger shredded. Don't be afraid to use a lot of spices when you use, when you do Thai food or Indian food. The reason why it tastes so flavorful is because they use so much more spices uh, than we usually do here. So don't be afraid to just freak it out with spices okay you can see the details soon okay guys we're starting uh, I use a lot of coconut oil and a lot of butter both fats are very very healthy very good and fat also brings out the taste of other things so don't be afraid to use a lot of fat as long as it is good fats and also don't heat the fat too much because when the fat gets up to a certain degree um, of heat they start to break down and then even if it's a good fat, it will become a bad fat. So yeah, use a lot of fat, good fat, but don't heat it too much. Okay guys, I took this uh, uh, away from the fire for a while because timing is crucial here. What I'm gonna do now when the butter is melted, I'm gonna have in maybe 25% of this bag of green curry paste. Uh, with that, I'm gonna have in this chicken and I'm gonna have in almost all the onion and I chopped up two tomatoes here that I'm gonna have in at the same time. The reason I'm using tomato because tomato is full of water. Full of water that tastes tomato. So it's gonna... Um, excrete? I don't know the English word, but okay. It's gonna let out of that water out in the process, in the heat. So it's gonna be more like boiled frying effect. Uh, and then I'm just gonna let it be there on a medium temperature for maybe 20 minutes Just to make sure that the chicken gets really really well done If you have thought about it, I don't know if you have when you are in a Chinese restaurant in an Asian restaurant or something like that The chicken is always very tender in a specific way. It's because they Have a tradition of, of, of frying it or boiling it or whatever they do for a long long time Just to make sure there's no bacteria in it they do it a little bit differently than, than us in the Western world, but uh, I'm going to do it the Asian style. And you're going to see it very soon. Okay, so here is the green curry paste. I'm just going to start mashing it around. Oh, shit. Making sure. I really don't like this uh, gas dose because this, uh, this barb here is very unstable. So I'm just going to mash this around. Just mix it around with the fat. Okay, done. This is how it looks. Up with the temperature again. You see? 
Very nice. Down with the chicken. Like that. And then let's see if I manage to do this. Okay, I'm gonna just grab the tomatoes first. Okay, there it is. And then almost all the onion as well. I'm gonna save a little bit too late. Just a little bit. Okay, so here it is. Now I'm just gonna try it. Put on the lid to not make the moisture ex escape. And um, let it be there for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Let's see. Okay, I'm also having a lot of soy sauce already because I want the saltness from the soy sauce directly to go into the chicken meat when it cooks like that sometimes people add the most spices in the end but in that when you're doing that you don't get the meat or whatever you have in it or if it's a vegetables to to absorb the spices so just use a lot of spices in the beginning so uh, in this case the chicken can absorb the salt from the soy sauce okay guys it has only gone five minutes but i'll just show you here now lower the temperature a little bit when you use the lid you see how much water there is there already and that comes from the onion and from the tomato uh, so it's already now starting to get more boiled than fried and it's getting boiled in the water that comes out from the tomato and the and the um, onion which will of course make it more tasty than if you boil it in in water obviously i'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, lime juice already I want those flavors to marry. Like I said, look, it's already like a soup here. Okay, guys, it's happening. I uh, lower the temperature, put it on a smaller flame. You see now, it's really, really juicy already. And this cream down here, oh my God, it's just full of flavors. It's a flavor bomb. This is all the water that came out from the um, the onion and then tomato so now I'm just gonna add the rest of the onion because onion loses its taste after a while so this one is just gonna give back some of the taste then I'm also gonna have all the broccoli down now and like I said I, I lowered the temperature and I'm gonna be let it be here for like five minutes because I don't want the broccoli to be heated on a high temperature because they otherwise it's just gonna fall apart and be like slime and that not tasty i still want the broccoli to have a little bit of its consistency a little bit of its um, texture left when, when when the final product is done so five minutes now uh, just let it soft here on a lower temperature and uh, and it will be perfect Okay, it's time for some magic. Oh. So, I'm gonna have a little bit of the, the sweet chili sauce, like I said before, to, to um, even up the sweetness. Coconut milk, always needed. The thing is that I actually need two hands for this. Like that, okay, thank you. Manage it with one hand. A little bit more lime. Now as well, I'm gonna have the garlic and the ginger. Not the lime shell yet. Uh, I can't do this while filming, so I'm just gonna have this one in there, and we're gonna see the next, the rest soon. Okay, so how's like how it looks like? There's all the garlic, all the ginger. All the coconut milk. Just gonna turn it around. I'm gonna just have a little bit more water inside because now it's very thick and I had a lot of that green curry paste from the beginning. So even if it starts to look very, very nice, I still, still gonna need a little bit of water because. Um, wait one second. Mm. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe just leave it like this. Mm -mm -mm. Very good indeed. 
had a quick talk with my higher self and it's because I'm a little bit drunk so um, I know I'm gonna give this to people tomorrow that don't eat so spicy food so yes have a little bit more water it's gonna be more like a real curry than before uh, just to not bore you more the thing is that this one I'm just gonna throw in when it's like five minutes left a little bit more lime because if I have this one too early, it's going to uh, affect the taste too much. So just have this one in the end. Uh, and I'm just going to go play some Battlefield now and let have this here now. So yeah, have a great Saturday all guys and girls and everyone. Bye bye. Sorry guys, I just told you I was going to play Battlefield, but oh my god. This stew is freaking amazing it's very hot what's happening my dog wants to come in what's happening spiky what's happening spiky why are you scratching the door never mind my dog but okay this is a green curry stew thai style and it's freaking amazing have a great saturday night everyone